Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and of course um, I did uh, do a little video disclosing the security flaw that exists in Internet Explorer that was discovered um, and, and that we of course all know about for the past few days um, in case you didn't see it. Um, so it has to do with of course MHD files that are web archive files that are created and opened by default by Internet Explorer. Now it's long been known that Internet Explorer is an unsecure web browser. And a lot of people uh, say, well, you know, why is it re not removed from our PCs? And it's because business users, a lot of business users, actually use Internet Explorer still uh, for some of their uh, stuff. And that's why it's at the core of, of Windows, because it actually is still used a lot for some of the integration that it has with Windows. So how do you remove Internet Explorer from Windows 10 or Windows 7? Procedure for both systems are the same. So um, in Windows 7, you need to go to Start Menu and to your Control Panel. In Windows 10, you can search for Control Panel in the search box. Or you can actually go to your Settings and go to the Apps section. And on the right side, you will see Programs and Features and Related Settings. So you want to go there, Programs and Features in the Control Panel. Uh, once you are in the, the um, Apps and Features in the Control Panel, go to turn on Windows Features on or off on the left side of your PC. This will create a list of features that your Windows operating system has. All you got to do is remove the little check mark in front of Internet Explorer 11. It's going to say turning off Internet Explorer 11 might have affect other Windows features and programs installing your computer, installing default settings. Do you want to continue? And you just click yes. And at this time, and click OK. Your Internet Explorer browser will completely be removed from the computer. If for some reason something doesn't work right, if for some reason doing so broke something on your PC, you can do the same procedure to actually remove, to, to actually have um, Internet Explorer come back. So instead of, you know, you'll still see it in the list, all you'll have to do is to simply put the check mark back on your um, section here in the Windows features. So now it will be removed. If something doesn't happen, doesn't work right, all you got to do is go back, put this check mark back here in Internet Explorer 11, and it will be okay. Um, you might be asked to restart your PC after you do this change. This totally removes Internet Explorer 11 from your computer. And you see here, it asks for a restart now. So I want to restart right now, but the restart means that the Internet Explorer browser will be gone from my PC. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.